In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to you, God the, Al God, the Almighty Father. You sent your Son to live among us and bring us salvation. Blessed be God who heals us in Christ. Praise to you, God, the only begotten Son. You humbled yourself to share in our humanity and you heal our infirmities. Blessed be God who heals us in Christ. Praise to you, God, the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Your unfailing power gives us strength in our bodily weakness. Blessed be God who heals us in Christ. We are gathered again tonight before Jesus, who is present to us in the most holy sacrament of the altar. On this second day of our days of prayer and charity, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick, especially those who are suffering because of COVID-19. In His earthly ministry, Jesus healed many who are sick. 
He touched them. He raised them up. He made them whole again. Healing the sick is one of the signs that He indeed is the Messiah, the Christ, the one anointed by the Spirit to bring the good news to the poor, healing to the brokenhearted, sight to the blind, liberty to captives, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. We come tonight to Jesus, the Divine Healer, and we beg Him to touch and heal all those who are sick. In many ways, we are all sick. We all need healing. We all need the healing and compassionate touch of Jesus. As we approach Jesus in faith, may He also tell us, especially our brothers and sisters who are suffering, your faith has healed you. Your faith has been your salvation. In some moments of silence, let us mention before Jesus the names of our brothers and sisters who are sick, who are in the hospital, who are suffering because of physical, mental, or emotional illness. Let us also pray for all those who are sick. May Jesus be their healing. My brothers and sisters in faith, let us appeal to God for our brothers and sisters who are sick 
and in pain. We ask the Lord to strengthen them, to free them from all harm, and to relieve their sufferings. We pray that all those dedicated to the care of the sick may be given the strength and compassion to serve. Father in heaven, grant comfort to our sick brothers and sisters in their suffering and pain. When they are afraid, give them courage. When afflicted, give them patience. When dejected, afford them hope. And when alone, assure them of the support of your holy people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We may now be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man, crippled from birth, was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, ri rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We may now be seated. Napakaraming mga passages sa Bible tungkol sa mga may sakit, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. At makikita po natin na ang mga pagpagaling sa mga may sakit ay tanda ng pagkilos ng Diyos sa kasaysayan. Lalong-lalo na sa panahon ni Jesus, ito'y tanda ng pagdating ng kaharian ng Diyos na siyang mensahe ni Jesus. Kaya bahagi po na magandang balita na dala ni Jesus ay ang pagpapagaling sa mga may sakit. Si Jesus po ay kilala na teacher at kilala na tagapagpagaling as a healer. Not only a teacher but also as a healer. Kaya ang mga tao'y dumadagsa kay Jesus. Lumalapit sila kay Jesus galing sa malalayong lugar para makinig sa kanya mga aral at upang dalhin ang mga may sakit sa kanya. O kung sila mismo ang may sakit, upang sila'y mapagaling ni Jesus. Sa ating pagbasa ngayon, lumapit ang may ketong kay Jesus. At ilan po sa mga miracles ni Jesus are about healing of, the, of those who have leprosy. Hindi dapat ginawa ito ng may ketong. Kasi lumayal, lumalayo dapat ang may ketong sa mga tao. Kung hindi, babatuhin sila. Ito yung kanilang quarantine. They should not draw near to other people because they will infect the other people. Not only 
was it a hygienic rule, but it was more of a religious sensitivity that other people may become unclean, ritual, ritually unclean because of the lepers. But that leper dared to come near. Maybe out of desperation. Bahala na kung ang gawin nila sa akin. Ay talagang ito lang ang chance ko. Or maybe out of great trust. Great trust na hindi naman siya itataboy ni Jesus. Hindi naman siya babatuhin ni Jesus. Kilala niya ang ugali ni Jesus. He is not one who drive people away just to protect himself. Siya ay lumapit at lumuhod. Ang pagluhod ay tanda ng kanyang pagmamakaawa. Nagpakababa siya. O baka tanda rin ng kanyang pagsamba. Kinilala niya ang malaking kapangyarihan na mayroong si Jesus. Siguro wala na siyang ibang pagkakataon. Desperado na siya. Kaya wala na siya magagawa para paggumaling. Ngunit lumapit at lumuhod kay Jesus. And his words show his great trust. He believed in the power of Jesus. You can cure me. Yan ang kanyang paniniwala. You can cure me. Kaya nga ang tingin niya kay Jesus ay hindi lang po isang dakilang tao. But there was a power that he possessed. What he still doubts, does Jesus want it? Gusto ba ni Jesus na gumaling siya? Kaya ang kanyang sinabi, Panginoon, kung ibig mo, mapapagaling mo ako. Alam niyo po, mas madaling maniwala sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos kaysa maniwala sa kanyang pagmamahal. Hanggang ngayon, kaya nga amang reklamo natin na bakit pinayaga ng Diyos na magkasakit tayo o bakit may pandemia o bakit tayo ay namatayan ay nagpapakita ng ating paniniwala sa kanyang kapangyarihan. Pero, ang tinatanong natin, bakit mo pinayagan na mangyari ito sa amin o sa akin? Kaya tinatanong natin ang kanyang pagmamahal. Mahal niya ba tayo? Pero alam natin na makapangyarihan siya. Kaya kung hindi niya hindi siya gumawa upang tayo gumaling, upang hindi mamatay ang ating mahal sa buhay, baka hindi niya tayo mahal. It is easier to believe in the power of God than to believe in His love for us. Pero napakaganda po ang sagot ni Jesus. Sinagot siya ni Jesus sa paglapit sa Kanya at Paghipo sa kanya, Jesus did not only allow himself to be drawn that the, that the leper should come to him, but he allowed himself to be contaminated by the leper. He himself touched him. He did not draw away from the leper, but he came near and touched him. And by doing so, he was contaminated. He became unclean. Naging madumi siya. Jesus wants to touch our wounds. Not to keep far away from us. Hindi siya nandidiri. Hindi siya natatakot. Hindi siya nahihiya sa ating kalagayan. So, he said, I do want it. Be clean. 
Tandaan natin ang sabi ng paralitiko. Panginoon, kung ibig mo, mapapagaling mo ako. At ang sagot ni Jesus, gusto ko maging malinis ka. Gusto ni Jesus ang ating kagalingan. Gusto niya na maging malinis tayo sa katawan at sa kaluluwa. Naging maayos ang ating buong pagkatao. Maniwala tayo sa pagmamahal ni Jesus sa atin. Pagalingin man tayo o hindi, maniwala tayo na mahal natin ang Diyos. At ang tinitingnan ng Diyos ay hindi lang po ang ating pangkatawang kalagayan, ngunit ang kabuuhan ng ating kabutihan ng pagkatao natin. Sa araw pong ito, pangalang araw ng ating Panginoon maawa ka na, ma- na pagdadasal, ipagdasal po natin ang mga may sakit. Ang dami po nila at dumadami pa. Huwag lang natin pong isipin ang mga nako-COVID. Marami rin pong mga may sakit na hindi naman COVID ang sakit. Ngunit mas nahihirapan sila. Hindi madali na pumunta sa doktor. Hindi madali na pumunta sa ospital dahil po sa pandemyang ito kahit na hindi COVID ang kanilang sakit. At marami nga na hindi naman maluhang may sakit, hindi sila makakapacheck up. Dahil po sa ganitong kalagayan, hindi naman tumatanggap ang mga doktor no, sa mga pacheck up ng mga tao. At ganun din po yung mga may COVID, Huwag nating sisihin na sila ay may COVID. Pabaya ka kasi. Pasaway ka kasi. Sa halip na pagsisisi, dapat natin silang unawain at tulungan. Sino ba naman ang may gusto na magkasakit? At sa kanilang kalagayan, kailangan natin ng pagtulong sa kanila. Tulad ni Jesus, ipakita natin na malapit tayo sa kanila. Huwag natin silang layuan. Huwag natin ipadama sa kanila that we don't care for them because they are sick with an infectious disease. At sa nga ating panahon ngayon, may mga paraan na ipakita na tayo'y malapit sa kanila. Kahit na sa text lang, kahit na sa Facebook lang, Sa online, let us assure them that we pray for them, that we remember them, that we are one with them. Kahit lang sa pangangamusta, kamusta ba kayo? At pwede naman tayong magpadala ng pagkain. Ilalamove na lang siguro. Ipaggrab na lang siguro. Magpadala. ng mga prutas. At dalhan din natin sila ng tulong. Baka mula sa ating mga kindness centers o community pantries na hindi sila makakapila doon. Baka tayo na lang ang pumila para sa kanila. Na maalaala nila is more than what they receive. but that people care for them. Yan po yung unang pinakita ni Jesus. Hindi lang siya nagpagaling, o oh, seke, gumaling ka na. Ngunit siya mismo ay lumapit and he touched the sick person and said to him, I want be clean. Tayo na sana ang mag-alok na handa tayong tumulong sa kanila. Kung ito'y mangyari sa atin, yung ating pagmamalasakit sa may sakit, sanang isang maging magandang bunga ng pandemic 
ay naging malapit tayo sa bawat isa at mas nagtutulungan tayo. Surely, the neighbor whom you have helped, whom you have shown your care when he or she was sick, will be closer to you afterwards. The people whom we said, I pray for you, become nearer to you. Dahil dito, ito silong maging bunga ng pandemic, mas naging malapit tayo sa isa. Ipagdasal din natin at ipagsimba ang mga may sakit. And this is one reason why you had to pray more, not only for our own protection, but you have to pray more because there are so many people who are in need of prayers. At ngayon nakakasimba tayo ng online, mas dalas-dalasan natin magsimba para sa mga may sakit. And let us offer also our sacrifices, the inconvenience of the pandemic for them. At ngayon po, na nandito tayo, na nagdadasal in front of Jesus, let us offer to Jesus the sufferings, the fears, the pains of those who are sick. Let us pray with our whole heart for their healing. And let us pray that in this situation, God continues to love us. And He wants our healing. If my people will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray, if they seek my face and humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive.
Let us kneel for the litany of supplication. O 
let your response be, We adore you, O Lord. Through God and through man, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament, We adore you, O Lord. Our Savior, God with us, faithful and rich in mercy, We adore you, O Lord. Our King, Lord of creation and of history, We adore you, O Lord. Conqueror of sin and death, We adore you, O Lord. Friend of humanity, risen from the dead and seated at the right hand of the Father, We adore you, O Lord. Let your response be, We believe in you, O Lord. Only begotten Son of the Father, who came down from heaven for our salvation. We believe in you, O Lord. Heavenly Physician, who lowered himself to our miseries. We believe in you, O Lord. Immolated Lamb, who offered himself to redeem us from evil. We believe in you, O Lord. Good Shepherd, who gave your life for the flock which you love. We believe in you, O Lord. Living bread and medicine for immortality, who gives us eternal life. We believe in you, O Lord. Let your response be, Deliver us, O Lord. From the power of Satan and the seductions of the world, deliver us, O Lord. From the pride and the presumption of being able to do anything without you, deliver us, O Lord. From the deceptions of fear and anxiety, deliver us, O Lord. From unbelief and desperation, deliver us, O Lord. From hardness of heart and the incapacity to love, Deliver us, O Lord. Let your response be, Save us, O Lord. From every evil that afflicts humanity, Save us, O Lord. From hunger, Famine and self-centeredness, save us, O Lord, from sickness, epidemics, and fear of our fellow men, save us, O Lord, from devastating follies, from ruthless interests and violence, save us, O Lord, from de deception, false information, and manipulation of consciences, save us, O Lord. Let your response be, Comfort us, O Lord. Protect your church as she crosses the desert. Comfort us, O Lord. Protect humanity, terrified with fear and anguish. Comfort us, O Lord. Protect the sick and the dying, oppressed by loneliness. Comfort us, O Lord. Protect the doctors and healthcare providers exhausted by fatigue. Comfort us, O Lord. Protect the politicians and civil leaders who bear the weight of making decisions. Comfort us, O Lord. Let your response be, Grant us your Spirit, O Lord. In the hour of trial and confusion, Grant us your Spirit, O Lord. In temptation and our weakness, Grant us your Spirit, O Lord. In the battle against evil and sin, Grant us your Spirit, O Lord. 
in the search for what is truly good and true joy. Grant us your spirit, O Lord, in the decision to remain in you and in your friendship. Grant us your spirit, O Lord. Let your response be, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should sin oppress us, o Open us to hope, O Lord. Should hatred close our hearts, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should sorrow visit us, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should indifference cause us anguish, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should death overwhelm us, open us to hope, O Lord. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Tantum ergo sacramento.
You have given them bread from heaven. Alleluia. Containing in itself all happiness. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. As we receive the Eucharistic blessing, let us ask Jesus to touch all those who are sick. May his healing hand touch all of us so that we may become instruments of healing and compassion to one another. The divine praises all together. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints.
Salita 